Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of Crit Hit Reviews, with your host, Arlian. On today's episode, I'll be talking about Future Cat LLC's story-driven adventure, One Shot. Find out if I thought this title was a shining entry in the genre, or if my enthusiasm for it dimmed over time. You take the role of Nico, the... the... not a Neko. Definitely not a cat, despite any confused cat noises they make. Only... That's not quite right. Not the, not the, not the cat thing, but more that this game's fairly quick to break the fourth wall and highlight the player's role as both an overseer and a guide. What ensues is a weirdly meta adventure with you guiding Nico on a quest to restore the sun to a slowly dying world, while also trying to see him return to his own place of origin. As far as the plot goes, I found myself intrigued both by its acknowledgement of the player as an entity and also the way it builds a rapport between you and Nico. There's also a number of moments where it definitely asserts the character's agency, while also touching on the way you treat the character that has essentially been left in your care. A theme that ultimately ties into the game's conclusion. Or rather, conclusions, given there's a few ways that things can pan out at the finale. And there were a number of optional moments where you could further flesh out the stories of the characters that you encounter, as well as Nico's backstory. That said, the game did leave me with a fair amount of questions. Well, at first. Provided a player is up to poking around its guts and exploring the whole of what One Shot can offer, they're apt to discover these missing pieces, though... The act of doing so did lead to some of the heaviest hitting moments during my dive into the game. That said, while the narrative elements of the game provide a fair degree of nuance, I found its gameplay elements to be altogether straightforward by comparison. For the most part, you're tasked with wandering around seeking out the way and your ultimate quest to reach the final area and rekindle the first flame. I mean the sun. The sun. Along the way, you chatter with curious characters and solve puzzles, most of which involve hunting down scattered objects you can use them with obstacles. That's not to say there aren't some cute or clever challenges amongst them, but the ones that really hold a special place for me are those that were more meta in nature, requiring things of the player that aren't within the strict confines of the game. It's these conundrums which ended up leaving me stumped more often than not. That said, it wasn't just the puzzles which I was fond of, as I found myself rather enamored with the convenience provided by the game's easily accessible fast travel system. Considering you end up doing a fair bit of walking, the ability just to hop between a plentiful number of checkpoints so long as you're not in a building is a serious time saver. I used it a lot, enough said. And honestly, I was fond of the visuals too. One shot looks good with the overall aesthetic to the game being mostly cute with a smattering of the uncanny. There are a number of endearing character designs to encounter, and the portraits are a lot of fun to look at, especially given some of the expressions characters make. The handful of still scenes that crop in the game are absolutely lovely to behold, and felt genuinely rewarding to come across. That overall level of quality extends to the game's OST as well. I really love the ambience the game establishes with its various tracks, as they help to give each area its own distinct flavor, as well as highlighting the overall mood for the scenes they crop up in. Which, uh, brings us to our conclusion. Honestly, I think at this juncture it's not really going to be too much of a surprise that I was rather fond of this game. I'm a sucker for a good story, and One Shot certainly provided one. I found myself thoroughly taken in by the dynamic it sets out to establish with Nico, which made both the heartwarming and heartbreaking moments hit a bit harder. I was also a big fan of just the bits of humor scattered throughout. On the gameplay front, it did take a little bit for me to warm up to the game, if only because of the amount of time I spent jogging back and forth across screens trying to figure things out. But as I acquired fast travel points and started to get into the meteor puzzles and secrets that One Shot had to provide, I found myself pleased as punch. At the end of the day, I'd say One Shot makes for a solid hit, and I'd certainly recommend it. Anywho, thanks for tuning in. If you agree, disagree, or just have something to say to me, feel free to comment. And for those interested in more indie reviews, developer interviews, podcasts, or Monday TTRPG content, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you know when there's a new release. 
There's also a Discord. You can click the link in the banner or the description to become a part of our community, the Crete Hit Cauldron. And lastly, if you'd like to help support the channel and our editor, Rand, we do have a coffee running now to help supplement funds and make sure we can continue to provide quality content and and eat. Um, again, check the description of the banner for them links. That said, I'll catch you on the next episode of Crit Hit. Take care till then, folks. <laughs>